I'm Jeremy and I work in customer service here at Evolution Industries. This is an instructional video on how to set up Evolution's new Unity Plate system. This system works very similar to OSER's Unity Valve. Our Unity Plate works with our Valve Plate and sets the vacuum hookup and release valve distal to the socket, minimizing the chance of damaging those parts. So if you have 24 millimeters of build height to work with, then this clean setup might be the way to go. To set up your Unity system, you will need an expulsion valve kit, part number VB01-002, and the Unity plate, part number VUP-001. You can also buy both of these kits in a combo pack, part number CB05. From your expulsion valve kit, you will be using the valve plate, part number VMP007, the expulsion valve housing, part number VV03-001, and the small seal. You will not use the large seal, the orange seal, or the one-way duckbill valve. Your unity plate will come pre-assembled and includes a large seal to fit into the recess. To set up your Unity system, take the socket with the valve plate gunked in place. For more information on setting up the valve plate, check out the valve manual on our website. Once the valve plate is gunked onto the socket, the rest is pretty simple. First, take your small seal and insert it into the center of the mounting plate. Take your expulsion valve housing and screw it in clockwise to secure it to the mounting plate. Use your wrench tool, part number WT001, to tighten the housing and ensure a good seal on the distal end of the socket. Be sure not to over tighten. Once the valve housing is in place, take your unity plate and the large seal provided and fit it into the recess. Keeping it secure, slide the unity plate onto the valve plate and align it with the four hole pattern. Take a male or female four hole adapter, line it up and hold all the parts together with four screws. Once the screws are tightened, inspect in between the plates to make sure there are no gaps. Now, as an example of how the system is going to work, we're going to use a foam model of a residual limb fitted with an Oser seal and bead liner. If you haven't already done so, be sure to hook up your Unity vacuum tube to the barb on the side of your unity plate. Now once the liner is donned over the residual limb, be sure to lubricate the seal to aid in the donning process and also protect the liner. Now as the patient steps into the socket, air is going to be expelled out of the distal end. You can press the release valve to expel the air faster.
Once they are in, release the button, and they are held in suspension. Just have your patient take a few steps on their new Unity foot, and the pump will do the rest. In conclusion, Evolution's Unity Plate setup is a comparable alternative to the Osir Unity valve. All the hookups are distal to the socket where they have a less chance of being dinged or damaged. It's a reliable system that you can count on, and it's completely compatible with the Unity system from Osir and Evolution's line of products. Do keep in mind, though, that this setup does add 24 millimeters of build height. If you do have any questions, please call Evolution at 1-888-839-6213. Thank you.